Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to the Glory Glory Man United Save. I apologise well in advance now because where I thought I recorded something, it didn't record, it just crashed. It did it again this time round, uh, especially with the Atletico Bilbao game and the, Chel um, the Man City game which I promised to bring you. So before we get to see what the results were like since our last episode, we've got the Champions League Cup draw which you will no doubt realise that we are through to the next round um, but you just don't know what the score is so let's uh, have a look at the teams left in the hat we've got Atletico Madrid, we've got Chelsea, ourselves, Real Madrid we've got Arsenal, Man City, Napoli and Tottenham again all five English clubs are still in there in the last eight uh, I'm hoping we do not pick an English club I don't want to meet uh, Real Madrid Napoli will be quite nice and Atletico as well so they're the two teams I really want so let's get on with the draw Atletico so fingers crossed we want them Chelsea get them great uh, okay then Arsenal will play Tottenham Real Madrid oh please not us we'll play Man City and we do get Napoli and we are at home first so there's the draw Atletico Madrid Chelsea Arsenal Tottenham Real Madrid Man City and ourselves versus Napoli so um, I'm quite pleased with that right since our game in the Carabao Cup final against Everton we went and demolished Liverpool 7-1 yes people you have you can read that correctly 7-1 Hiker two goals but Ibero three goals Martins and Pelosi scoring as well and we just totally and utterly thrashed them the following game we were four, four one. We were four one up at half time, and we almost lost it. By the 80th minute, we were five four down. Um, West Ham played really well, and they just kept coming and coming and coming. We just didn't have an answer for it. Uh, but we did escape with a high cut 81st minute equaliser. I'm saying equaliser. We were four one up for goodness sake, but we did escape, and that kind of ended our long um, our 17 18 match winning streak which was really disappointing we followed that up with um atletico bilbao we won 5-0 10-0 on aggregate good balls with two rashford burger and pelosi as well that game was ju it was just um, a dead rubber one that one we were already 5-0 up from the first leg um but saying that we still have to go out there and win it and do the job man city again we were 2 1 up this time, 90th minute equaliser. Moist Keen equalising, really, really irritating, especially when we took the lead in the 81st minute. We couldn't hold on that extra couple of minutes. But we do remain unbeaten for this period. I think it's 19 games now unbeaten. But Man City, they just look strong, really did. And even though at home we couldn't afford to let them win, so a draw is the next best thing, I guess. And the last game that we played, 5-0 away to Stoke. Sanchez, Ibero, Rashford, Goodballs and Martins as well. Martins only just coming off the bench. We have got a lot of injuries as well. Well, I say injuries, all our players are tired and it's not really good to build up to this game really. Away to Chelsea and we do have a long rest going into the Arsenal game as well. So... Hopefully our players will be fit at that point, but today we've got the sixth round of the FA Cup and I'm dreading it, to be perfectly honest. Premiership looks a bit like this. We are eight points clear at the top. Chelsea have yet to play. Um, Man City as well. Um, so we've already had our game. Abira is top at, uh, goal scorer at the minute with 23, so he's doing well in his first season in the Premiership. In fact, he's doing well all round. And uh, Heatley is one behind Courtois. So the side that's going to take on Chelsea then, Heatley in goal, Piri Piri Suluk, uh, Gilberto Hernandez at the back, Rodriguez comes back in from the under-23s where he's been hanging out, uh, we've just got nobody fit in midfield, Sumic returns after a lengthy um, injury, however he's not match fit as you can see, uh, Pelosi and Martins, Pelosi is still hanging out, hanging in in there, uh, Koeman is out for another seven weeks so Pelosi needs to get some rest. He's look, he looks absolutely battered. Martin's going to play on the other side. Icardi and Heike are going to partner themselves up front. Um, we have got other players on the bench. Uh, Sowell suspended, hence why we're 
dragging Rodriguez in and Komen is still injured like I said. And Manny, who's he then? Four and five. Have they only just bought him? Uh, five and a half million. Did they only just buy him? Is it? No, he's out, been out on loan. So they've had him for a while and he's playing his first game, I guess. Prove a point. We are attacking. We're doing what we know and um, I'm hoping we come away with a victory here. Don't really want to go out of the FA Cup this, uh, well, I'd rather now than the semi-final, I guess. Do have an attack. Uh, we do have the ball over there. We have playing with a stupid brown ball again. Pelosi now has it inside to Rodriguez. Heike, um back heel, Hi Rodriguez. Piri Piri, ball in, back post, and we're in. Martins jumps ahead or higher than everybody as if he's doing the high jump and uh, knocks it in for us. Um, it's a very, very good play in there. Rodriguez, instrumental in that area. Well, actually, no, he didn't jump. It just seemed like he jumped. And Courtois concedes early. Could do with our players passing to each other, which don't seem to be happening at the minute. They've scored a goal and they're sitting back. And it's what they did against Man City. We do cut that out, thankfully. And we're not passing the ball very well, are we? Gabriel Barbosa, and that's a very good goal. 20 yards. It was coming. We've had one shot on goal. It was coming. We may have to drop two of our guys back. 37th minute. Right, that should be half time, which it is. Um, one shot on goal. And that's where we scored from, and that is uh, is poor. Far from this, what I've just seen. And do, you know what, I might drag these guys back. We can always pull them back up front if need be. But um, we're not doing anything up front. The guys up front are not doing anything at all. We'll leave it at that. We'll see what happens. Uh, do we go counter, I guess? Don't normally play defensive. We may have to take Rodriguez out. He's looking a little bit tired, but he is doing the job up there. Oh, so much. Come on, lad. And Chelsea come away with it once again, uh, playing it from the back. Amara, Felix, and look at this. They've got so much room. How we missed that, I've just got no idea. Wendell can come in for Rodriguez, and he can go there. Um... Kandarel can come in for Martins. Piri Piri's not playing well, so do we bring Magno in? We'll bring Magno in. And do that instead. Three substitutions, fresh legs. Through ball. It was, it was there, the through ball. <laughs> Courtois now. And uh, Chelsea are building yet again. And you can see they're going to score. Why don't we intercept that? Oh, come on. They're just... That's a good stop by Heatley. Courtois, big hoof up front. We do get ahead of there. But we don't capitalise. Oh, we're there. Oh, through ball. I can't, <laughs> he can't run, can he? Oh. Could have really done with somebody quick there. Like, oh, great tackle there. Mm, straight back in again. This gets lofted out and booted all over the place. And that's over. Okay, keep going. Extra extra time, what are you talking about? Don't we get replays? And once again, we're in extra time against um, Chelsea. Well, it feels like we're in extra time against them again. Um, we don't deserve this. We, how we managed a nil-nil draw last time in the Caraboa. But I feel like whoever wins this will go on to win it. And our players just look absolutely knackered. Oh, he's just going to get sent off. Ike has been sent off. Well, you're on your own now then, uh, Icardi. In the centre. Right. Is that a save? It looks like it's been a save. Right, that's the end of the half. Let's start the second half and um, 
well if it goes to penalties we're stuffed even further because all our players well even they are actually to be fair they look knackered are we on a go slow with the clock what's going on right we're on the attack and once again we just don't Chelsea seem to be the bane of our lives I mean, and the players are just running in oh jeez Okay. Kandarel can go up front. Well, we've got nothing else to lose, lose now. And we've got to go attacking as well. Chelsea could inflict our first defeat for a long, long while. And we're down to 10 men. It's. I mean, that's poor. Heatley looked like he was so knackered to um, not even attempt it. Does overload actually do anything? That's it. Oh, come on. We didn't even get a chance. We had seven against their 33. We didn't deserve to win this one at all. It was disappointing. And uh, because of that, Hiker, you could be fined. I'll have to see. Ploys is injured for a week, so we haven't got no right winger. Magno is injured for a few days. And Hiker's banned for one match. Let's view the incident. Let's determine whether he gets fined. I might fine him anyway because he just cost us a game. Just stabs in the back. I mean, that was just ridiculous. So, action, find one week's wages. Uh, he feels it was unfair. I don't know why you find him. Well... You know, you let everybody down. And I still think it was unfair. I can at least understand where you're coming from, consider this the last I'll say on the matter. Well, I should think so too as well. Uh, just out of interest. Saved yourself 210 grand. <laughs> right, we've got international duty now for uh, two weeks. So it will seem like forever in my case, but to you guys, it'll only seem like a couple of seconds. So we see you very shortly. Right, we're finally here. The side then to take on Arsenal in, after this two-week international break. We have got Healy in goal. Piri Piri, Gilberto, Berger and Hernandez at the back. Summich and Wendell in the centre. Rashford on the left-hand side. Hogg from our under-23s. Got potential four-star. He's currently working at a two. He's not that bad. He's playing quite well for the uh, under-23s. 11 goals he scored. Four assists in 18 games. Um, Pelosi is just absolutely knackered. He, I don't think he can go on any longer. We do need to find uh, another um, right winger if we were carrying on this season. Uh, Koeman is still out for another five weeks. Heike, he's got himself suspended. And Martins now is injured up to three weeks. So potentially the rest of the season is hangs in the balance. But we have got Arsenal. We are going to submit this team. Um, Akadi and Gobbles up front as well, in case you didn't realise. But uh, we need to get ourselves back to winning ways. Just forget about the Chelsea game. Because really, we well we struggled full stop for that in that one. We were just totally outplayed. Uh, Chelsea and Man City just seem to do one over us every season. Well, they have been. They're getting stronger and stronger. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, what's it going to be like in the next... Um, wow, we missed. Ten years or so. Five, ten years or so. See who is going to be picking up the Premiership. I will put my money on one of them two for a while yet. We are on 116 goals, by the way. We're only 12 behind uh, the record. With seven games, including this one, to go well under two a game now so as long as we start scoring and scoring a few in one game we'll be quite happy a lot of sirens going on outside don't know what's cracked off right Gubbles is down the line in the middle anybody there and we are and Akadi gets his goal he puts it away and Gubbles what a run son what a run and Wendell does pass over plays like Pogba-esque type position 
be nice to see how our old players are doing. Like Martial. Get away B inside to Wolf with Fera and Hafner's in there. Why did we let him go? Piri Piri, where the hell were you? Again, they're not in the game at all. And they can still come in and do one. And our lack of keeping clean sheets is starting to reappear. Piri Piri gets it. Good balls. Plays it into Akadi. Going out wide to Piri Piri. Ball in. And we do hammer it in. And Summich comes through the midfield. And bang. It's in. So we're on under 10 goals now I think 9 goals before the record we've got 6 games after this one it should be doable shouldn't it really we should get this record no we're 10 goals now ooh close we're 10 goals behind sorry 11 goals to get the record well that was a quick half changing rooms uh, prove a point then start the second half let's go again um, we should be winning quite comfortably. We do find ourselves 11 points clear, although we have played two games more. Right. Yes! Is that Summich again? No, Wendor this time from Gubbles. And that'll do. 3 1. Now we're under 10 goals. 10 for the record. And that is beautifully played. Wendor, well played, son. Can we get another one? We do intercept by Piri Piri, plays it back to the goalkeeper, who hoists it up and Cardi holds it so much now, wide to Rashford, and the ball crosses in, and we get another one, and Gubbles this time, he's got an injury. He has an injury, and he does get a goal, and that's beautiful play, and Rashford playing really well on the left-hand side, and that's a great ball in. It's a great header. Thank you very much, sir. 4-1. We're on 120 goals now. Can we get another one? Before Gubbles is totally and utterly injured and Roland is just totally smashed through our uh, two players there. Also, ball in. Picked up by Heatley. We're going into the last 20 minutes. I'm going to pause it. Mid-game. Uh, Gubbles, you can come off. I'm not risking you. Uh, you know what? Ibero can come in. Rashford can come in for a Cardi and Kandaral can come in there. He can go wide. There we go, two subs. There we go, quick switch. Before anything else seriously happens, and a Cardi's down the wing, he's proving he doesn't want to get taken. Oh, how did he miss? Gobbles for the hat trick. He's not great with his head, but that should have been buried. Arsenal, Rowland. This is a very, very good victory. Oh, so much. Beautiful pick up there to Rashford. His substitutions haven't gone yet. And yes, Ibera. Yes, they have been done actually because Ibera has just scored. We still keep carrying on in the league. Is that 20 games unbeaten now in the league? And yeah, look at that. Ibera just nicks it off. Who was that running through the middle? Rashford comes forward. Ibero going wide. Hog. He's played really well, the youngster. Oh, we didn't get that in though somehow. Has Hog had a, an assist? He hasn't, but he's playing a 7.4 though. Out wide to Hog. Beautiful ball down the line to Ibero. To Provider and Rashford. 6 <laughs> 1. We're doing a Liverpool. We're beating Arsenal 6 1 at home. That is another smashing victory. And can we get another one? Come on. Liverpool won't feel so bad then if we... Uh, no, that's it. They won't let us have any more. Um, okay. So we miss out on possession somehow. Before we go, I am just going to rest all our players. Everybody in the squad is going to get a break. Because I'm kind like that. Uh, Bero set for goal uh, bonus. One goal away from 25 goals this time. So he's already had one for 20. And he's getting one for 25. Gubbles is injured out for a week. Hogg makes his debut. Well done, son. Nuki born as well. 
send the assistant. Benitez, yeah, he's manager of Arsenal. Uh, we qualify for the Champions League, at least anyway, so that's nice. The budget's for next... <laughs> wow! £236 million budget, although the wages are very, very low. Uh, Rashford, three assists. Well done. Hog praises manager following first start. Was full of praise. His impressive performance was, was at his first senior start. Well, you know what? You did really play well. Right, the table looks a little bit like this now. We are eight points clear. Uh, Chelsea still have that game in hand, so it could potentially be five. Six wins, and we win it. We can come back to the, uh, to the Napoli second leg, I guess. Hopefully it won't be a dead rubber by then, but we'll come back to the Napoli game. Um, possibly either Derby or Bournemouth. We shall see. So if you enjoyed that video, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more new to the channel, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.